Hi, my name is Anastasia Olestad and I'm product manager for iShare Portal. Today I will tell you about the new features in the latest iShare Portal release. Let's begin by looking at the portal's start page from a customer's viewpoint. iShare Portal has different modules like ordering and request for quote, but today we will focus on the invoice module and the invoice control functionality. iShare Portal provides suppliers with possibility to send invoices directly to customers in a variety of ways. They can create new invoice manually, or register new invoice as an XML, or send an invoice through an access point. Moving on, we have the import control feature. Customers can activate this feature to set up specific validation rules for their invoices. For example, specify requirements to the presence and format of value in invoice fields. If an invoice doesn't pass these rules, the process is halted and the supplier is notified to correct the invoice. This ensures that only accurate and compliant invoices are sent to the customer. Customers with import control feature activated will see a graph on the start page that displays the total number of documents imported during the last 12 months from all suppliers and also the percentage of valid and invalid invoices. Each customer can select if all the incorrect invoices should be stopped in import control, then those that contain email address of the vendor will be sent immediately to the vendor for correction and those invoices that are missing vendor email will be stopped in the portal and customer can open them and enter the vendor email address. The customer has also the possibility to correct invoice themselves. And there is also a setting on how long the invoices should be kept in portal before they can be sent to the customer's workflow or another ERP system, even if they are not corrected. Let's look at the invoice list from the customer's perspective. Here I can see that some invoices requires correction. I can also filter by the status to see only the invoices that requires correction. And here supplier status states that it was sent to supplier. It means that iShare portal knows email address of the vendor and the vendor received email about invoices that needs to be corrected. I can also open an invoice and send notification to supplier to correct invoice. I can also change the email address if I know that there is another person at this supplier that is responsible for the invoice. I can easily navigate between the invoices in the filtered list by buttons next and previous. In this case, there are only two invoices available since I filtered by requires correction. And each invoice has the lock button in the left corner. Here all the actions in the document history are listed. Now let us switch to the supplier's view of the iShare portal. As well as customers, suppliers also have invoice import control statistics on the start page, but for suppliers it is only invoices sent from this supplier to all the customers in iShare portal that are displayed here. And on the left panel I can see the list of my tasks as a supplier. I need to correct two invoices and I can reach them directly from the left panel. To the right from the invoice picture I can see the list of invoice fields and comments what needs to be corrected. For example, this customer wants all PO numbers to start with F and be followed by four digits. I also need to mention project and by reference on this invoice before I can send it. If customer will receive invoice through the PEPL infrastructure, I have a button preview available. It will show me the preview of how PEPL invoice will look like. 
So now everything is correct and I can send the invoice. Now the next invoice for correction will open automatically and I will do the same with this invoice as well. And now when all invoices are corrected, I can see that statistics changed and all my documents are marked as corrected by a vendor. And my tasks list on the left panel is now empty, so I have only one option to create a new invoice. I can access all invoices registered previously from the menu or from the start page. And here are all my invoices. And finally, all invoices that are older than one year will be moved to the archive.